Hi everybody, welcome to City Suppers. I'm Tim Anderson. Today I'm going to show you a simple, hearty dish using everybody's favorite urban pest, pigeon. This is of course actually wood pigeon. It's never seen a city in its life and it's absolutely delicious meat, a bit like duck. We're going to be serving it with a nice miso and shiitake mushroom broth. This is a fairly light dish, even though it's got a game bird in it, but to add some substance, we're going to use this. This is daikon, also known as muli. Daikon in Japanese just means big root. As you can see, it's a very big root. It's, it's a white radish. So, we're going to trim off the end here. Cut it into two, and then get the peel off. You may come across a few bruises or brown bits in your daikon. Not to worry, just cut them off and carry on with the rest of it. We're just going to cut these into bite-sized chunks. Slightly large bite-sized chunks. All right. Now we'll get to work on our broth. So what I've got in here, these are dried shiitake mushrooms, which you can get at most supermarkets these days, that have been soaking in boiling water for about 20 minutes. And we're going to use the mushrooms themselves and this nice meaty mushroom broth that's come off of it. So, we've got a sieve and a pan here. So to catch those mushrooms. Whoop. We're going to prep these mushrooms and they'll go into the soup as well. And first what we want to do is get the stems off because the stems are really woody and tough. So just get in there with a sharp knife and slice them out. So then all we do, once you get the stems off, slice them in half. And if you want to give this dish a go at home, just check the description box for the full list of ingredients. Okay, so, and we're going to start simmering these. But first we're going to add some seasonings. This is rice vinegar. A little bit of mirin for sweetness. And a little bit of soy sauce. Not too much because we're going to be adding miso later, which is quite salty. But just a little to season the broth. And by the way, these three ingredients, rice vinegar, mirin, and soy sauce, are sort of like the holy trinity of Japanese cooking. You can uh, give almost anything a slightly Japanese flavor just by using these three things. All right, so the veg goes in, heat goes on. We just want to cook this for, say, 10 minutes or so once it comes to the boil. All right, so that's been simmering away for a while, and now we're going to cook the pigeon. So we need quite a lot of butter first. Quite a lot, because we're going to be using this butter to baste it as it cooks. And we'll get that up to a sort of medium-high heat. We don't want the butter to burn, and we don't want the pigeon to overcook on the outside and undercook in the middle. So, what we'll do while that butter is melting is season it with black pepper and some salt. Not too much salt because we're going to be pairing it with a salty broth, of course. I've got some sage here, which we're going to use to garnish the bird later. Before I do that, I just want to strip the leaves and get the stem in that hot butter so it infuses into our basting liquid. It's foaming and spitting, and that's good. Put the pigeon in, breast side down, and hold it there because it'll start to seize up a bit. And just let it sit for about four to five minutes. While that's cooking, we can chop our sage. Before I, I chop these, actually, I'm going to rub them. Rub the underside of them, because that's actually where all the uh, aroma compounds are. And when you rub them, you release that sage aroma. It doesn't come from within the leaf. Bundle them into a roll, kind of like a cigar. And then get a sharp knife and run it through very, very thinly. So that pigeon cooking nicely. We're going to tilt the pan here and toss over some of that hot butter. And that's just to distribute the heat throughout the breasts. So it actually will start to cook from both sides even if it's not turned over yet. Before I forget, I'm also going to season this side as well with a little more black pepper and a little bit more salt. So you can feel with your tongs it's already starting to firm up. We'll flop it over, like so. We've got nice dark brown bits along the edges. That's great. We'll carry on cooking for another three or four minutes, basting as we go. So these are feeling quite firm. 
Time to take them off and just let them rest for a bit as you would a steak or really any kind of meat. The daikon is getting tender. I'm just going to add one last ingredient and that is of course the miso. We're going to add about I'd say two tablespoons, 20 grams-ish. And we're just going to stir that in. If you like the looks of this dish and you want to learn a few more, just click the subscribe button. Mmm, so the miso's all blended into that broth now. The vegetables are tender. The sage is all lovely and aromatic. The smells in here, my god, they're fantastic. And it's time to plate up, which is very, very simple. First, we're going to carve our pigeon. Look at that cooking. That's fantastic. That is perfectly pink. I am thrilled with that. Cooked through, but only just a little bit of gray along the outside. That's okay. Okay, so we'll spoon some of our veg in, like so. Try to get them in a nice pile in the middle. Or don't. It doesn't have to be fancy. We're going to use that as a sort of uh, presentation pedestal for the pigeon, the lovely pink pigeon. And the pigeon goes like so, just here and there. This looks amazing. I love pigeon. All right, finally, garnish with our rubbed sage chiffonade. I'm going to eat that. Can I eat that? I'm going to eat that. Give me a spoon. Mmm. There's a fruitiness in the miso. It works so well with the bird. And that sage, you just taste of the forest. My God, this is great. Give it a go. Listen with the baby